Very, a great pleasure to serve under your chairmanship. I'd like to congratulate the Right Honourable Member for Proseli Pembrokeshire for securing today's debate. My constituency of Aberavon would, along with the neighbouring constituency of my honourable friend from Swansea East, be the home of the Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon, which would be the first such project in the world. And Tidal Lagoon power is an idea whose time has come. The Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon would produce enough energy to power 150,000 Welsh homes for 120 years, meeting 11% of Welsh energy needs with clean, green, reliable and sustainable energy, saving almost a quarter of a million tonnes of carbon during each year of operations. It will directly sustain over 2,000 construction and manufacturing jobs in, in Wales and support as many as 311 UK industrial and manufacturing businesses along the supply chain. And crucially for my Aberavon constituency, the project will require over 100,000 tonnes of steel, much of which will come through the Port Talbot Steelworks. Tidal Lagoon UK have committed to procuring as much steel as possible from UK suppliers and they should be commended and later held to that pledge. As it will be the first of its kind in the world, it's estimated that in its first year, 200,000 people will visit the lagoon, coming to see the natural boating centre and other facilities. That will mean £8 million in tourism revenue, including £2 million from the Oyster Visitor Centre, half a million from the National Boating Centre, and almost a million pounds for the Elite Performance Sports Centre. The project has the support of almost 90% of local stakeholders and was included in the manifesto upon which every major party stood at the last general election. In sum, the government is fast running out of excuses for delaying a positive decision. A final decision will, of course, be made following consideration of the Henry Review. This was supposed to have been received before the autumn statement, but we understand the government asked for the report to be delayed in light of possible ramifications of other announcements. Can the minister please inform us of what impact, if any, the autumn statement has had on the review? We now understand the, re the review is expected to submit it to the Secretary of State this afternoon. So can the minister please inform the House as to whether the review has already been submitted, and if not, when it will be submitted? And can the minister commit to his department publishing the Henry Review publicly? Members of this House, our constituents and local businesses should see the review and the case presented by Hendry, either for or against Tidal Lagoon Power. There are live investment decisions that need to be made, or at least planned, imminently. For these decisions to go forward, investment ne investors need, at the very least, a clear sense of the decision-making and implementation process. So can the Minister please make clear, first, what the formal decision-making process will be, and when it is we can expect a public decision. Will we have to wait until the budget? Will the Secretary of State make a statement in the coming, current, coming months, either as a separate standalone statement or as part of his National Industrial Strategy statement? Will the government also make clear what the timescale and process will be for implementation of any decision following the Henry Review? <coughs> Investors, business and our communities need an end to the uncertainty. All major parties made clear manifesto commitments to tidal lagoons and, and in particular to the Swansea Bay Tidal Lagoon. It's about time that we fulfilled these, delivered clear jobs, energy and opportunity to the Swansea Bay region. Thank you.